October 4th, 2009. I'm in my garden in Ewing, New Jersey. Checking out a tidal marsh giant amaranth hybrid. This plant flowered a while ago. Um, gonna collect seeds on it, so I tore it down to take a look at it. Now here's the underside of the plant, part of the root system. Here we have the stalk. These stalks don't get quite as large as as a giant amaranth and not, not quite as hollow either. I put a tape measure across. This one's about 21 foot across so you can see. Put the tape measure right there. Got one foot, two foot, three foot, four, five foot, six, there's eight foot, let's get through here, nine, there's 10, there's a 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21's right there. Now this is just a tad shy of that. So this plant is about 20 foot 10 inches. Now the leaves on these, good way to tell that I find from crossing these plants. Take a typical leaf on one of these. Let's just grab any leaf down here at the base. There's a pretty, pretty decent sized one. Go over here, check out what I believe to be is a pure giant amaranth. Notice this, the leaf difference. So this is a good way to tell a giant amaranth from a tidal marsh amaranth, because tidal marsh amaranth have very narrow, thin leaves. With a giant amaranth, a pure one, will have really big leaves. You can see, this is like one of the biggest leaves on that plant. While you have this leaf, a giant amaranth. Also, you can tell too because the seeds on these are much larger and they look different. The flowering arrangement, here you see like clusters of seeds, which you probably can't see too well on the camera, but the seeds are actually kind of in clusters instead of one long continuous flower. The seeds on these are also much bigger. You can actually, just a little bit, I know it's probably blurry, but you can see right, you can see some seeds in there. There's one right here on my finger. You couldn't see that if it was a giant amaranth seed. It's one way to tell the tidal marsh amaranth seeds are a lot bigger. So I'm going to remove all the seeds on this. So most of my plants from the original had the, all these that I grew this year were from an 18 foot tall, 16 foot wide tidal marsh amaranth, which was the mother, most likely the father, because it was the only tidal marsh amaranth I had at the time, was either a pure giant amaranth or a giant amaranth tidal marsh cross that I had the year before, because they were the only ones flowering. Most likely it was a, it was a hybrid between the two. But I'm going to collect all these seeds. Most of the plants all were around 21 foot, so pretty consistent it seems producing at this height.